Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can get rid of the Grub bootloader if you have installed Linux and Windows side by side. So I have installed a Linux system next to my Windows and when I boot my computer, I was able to choose between Linux and Windows. And I still want to use Linux. However, it is a little bit cumbersome to well, if I want to switch from Windows to Linux, I have to re reboot my computer, enter all the password. It takes a lot of time and vice versa. So I decided that I will only use Windows from now on. And uh, for the Linux stuff, I will set up a virtual machine in Windows with VMware to use Linux. So I can switch much faster to Linux in this case. But how do I get rid of the installed Linux systems or Grub bootloader and also get the back my disk space I'm using for my Linux system. We will get to that in this video. First of all, uh, just a quick reminder, your Windows system will not be damaged in this uh, with these instructions here. However, just in case, make a full backup of your computer before uh, repeating my steps I show it in this video. And all steps described in the, here in this video are also available in this blog post in a blog post link in the video description. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm using a German version of Windows here, but uh, the steps are similar in the English version. So just the output will be German here at some points. So I start a command line here. I enter disk part and um, this will open the disk part utility in another command line. Here in disk part, we enter list vol for list volumes. And here we have three volumes and one volume with the FAT32 file system will be our EFI boot system. So let's select this volume. And once we have done that, we assign a drive letter by typing in drive letter XX in my case is just an available drive letter. So just use a drive letter you can use. Okay, let's switch to a different um, command prompt here. Once we have done that, and now we try to access our drive here, we get access denied. So we have to open the command line with administrator rights. So let's do that. Open as administrator. And now we can switch over to our X drive and to to get the content and here we see the EFI folder we go into this folder with CD EFI and here we have three folders here Microsoft boot and open SUSE in my case open SUSE is the entry for my Linux system Microsoft is for Windows and now we have to remove the Linux folder from the drive so we enter rmd slash s and the name of our Linux system. So and once we have done that, we have deleted the folder and now the grub bootloader is gone. And let's find out and reboot the system. Okay, I'm rebooting the system now. And let's see if it works. Windows should boot right away. In my case, my drive is BitLocker encrypted, so I will need to enter the BitLocker encryption recovery key. So the boot logo appears and now as expected, the BitLocker recovery. Okay, a small explanation here because we have changed our system, we need to enter the BitLocker recovery key if your drive is BitLocker encrypted. If you don't use BitLocker encryption, Windows would boot right away. So just in case you have a BitLocker encrypted drive, have the recovery at your hand. Okay, back in Windows, we now want to reuse the disk space from Linux and delete the Linux partitions. So I'm open here the disk management tool in Windows and we have two partitions here used by Linux. Uh, make sure you have selected the correct partitions here because well, all data in these partitions we now are going to delete by right clicking and delete those partitions will be deleted and all data in it. So I first delete the second partition here, the Linux swap partition, and then I delete the other Linux partition here. So after that, we will have free disk space available now, and we can expand our C volume now and reuse the disk space here. So you just have to go through this wizard here by clicking next and 
finish. Once you have done that, well, then your C partition will use the disk space formerly occupied by your Linux system. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, that's how you can remove your Linux system and just use Windows. This, as you have seen, uh, this does not destroy any data. Your Linux system will be gone. However, Windows doesn't need to be reinstalled and you keep all your data. But just a friendly reminder, have a backup at your hand before proceeding, just in case anything gets wrong. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, if I was too fast at some points in the video, just click the link below in the video description. Then you get to our blog post and you can, well, read everything up I've shown here in this video. Goodbye.